Well, we wanted to end today's program with a special guest and a special, although sad, occasion, which is why the background is different. Uh, after 21 years with CPAC, Peter Van Dusen retires after today, so there was no way we were going to let him go before saying a goodbye on air. So Peter Van Dusen joins us right now. Uh, congratulations. Thanks very much, Michael. That's a little odd. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you're, you're yeah. so used to being on yeah, this side I, of the desk. I don't mind it here, though. This is fine. No, uh, how does it feel, though? Like, I mean, you, you're you retiring after today, and, I, and this is actually not really a goodbye, because I'm sure we're going to be calling you out of retirement from time to time to still be part of the programming. But how does it feel to, to essentially end your daily duties? You know, it feels... Um, it, it feels great in the sense that uh, I'm going to be spending more time with my family, which everybody wants to do at, yeah. at, a, at a certain age. It also feels uh, uh, really good, I think, to know, um, you know, what I'm, what I'm leaving. I mean, we had uh, such a great team of committed people to the to the notion of public service and uh, giving people a front row seat on democracy, and I was proud to be part of that team. So. It, it feels really good to have had that experience over 21 years here and, you know, 40 plus years uh, working in other uh, uh, media outlets. And, uh, n you know, knowing that you're here now and knowing That's that uh, uh, some other very, very good people uh, are joining CPAC, uh, mm -hmm. I think that says a lot about uh, where the operation is. But most of all, I'm, I'm just really uh, happy and, and proud of the fact that uh, as a team of people, we. We built something that I think has become a, a pretty important service to, to Canadians and may become even more important uh, given the sort of media climate we're in. Yeah, yeah. well, you, you know, I, I will say, uh, as people speak to me on the streets, you know, they, they congratulate me for this new role, but they all note the big shoes that I have to fill. And I was like, I'm not filling Peter's shoes. I'm, I'm going to follow the path that you've essentially created for us to follow. But... Uh, when you think of your own contribution, I know you're very humble about this, but when you think about the own contribution that you have made to, to really Canadian democracy, to Canadian media, political journalism in this country, what do you hope you'll be remembered for? Um, you know, it's an interesting question, and I, I have to be honest, I've, I've really never given it much thought. I've, I've looked at this... Uh, I never really looked at it as a job, and it's a little different than a lot of other places, as, mm -hmm. as you know. It, it's it's more of a calling. You know, I've often said to people, if if you need to desperately be seen on television, maybe CPAC's not the place for you in terms of a of the anchor, because we've always put the sort of content first, and and once you have that sort of driving your daily conversations, they always be, uh, become about the content. It's mm -hmm. always more important for people to see what's being said and who's saying it and uh, showing them all of it, uh, mm -hmm. you know, as opposed to snippets of it uh, that you see on the nightly news. And I'm not here to trash the nightly news. They, they have a certain uh, role they play as well. But we always uh, sort of understood the role here, and I always understood it was to put yourself you know, um, in the sort of background, except to be the sort of traffic cop and the person sort of guiding uh, the content, but not influencing the content, mm -hmm. not trying to tell people what to think about the content. So I guess if I'm proud of anything, it's that um, I was smart enough to grab the opportunity when it came up to yeah. be part of a place like this and have the content sort of dictate the kind of role you played as opposed to saying I'd rather do this this and show them this that this no this is where the action is and they deserve to be able to see it all and decide for themselves what's being said what's being decided and what it means to them mm -hmm. uh, you mentioned looking forward to spending more time with your family and you know CPAC we, we actually had a special retirement party for you earlier uh, in the week and it was nice to see your wife there your kids there what have they meant for you over the years, because I think people get a sense of it, but to be a journalist, especially a political journalist in this country, it is early morning, late at night, mm -hmm. day after day, often weekends, often holidays. How important has your family been through these 21 years for you? Well, you know it, you're a dad. So, I mean, the, the challenge is always, um, the challenge is always to try and balance those things. And you, you know, I suppose, um, I, I come from a, a bit of a different family. I have six brothers and sisters, and at one point all of us worked in journalism. My dad was a journalist. So there's at least, a, at least within your own family, there's, mm -hmm. a, there's a sort of barometer there for how, how, how valuable time is. And so, um, you know, my wife, Anna, and my kids, uh, Alex and Madison, yes. Um, you know, I always felt, 
uh, I always understood what I was missing, but I always tried to do what I could to maximize the time I had with them. But you're right. Um, in the last, you know, couple of weeks, this, the changes have happened here. Yeah. I've just discovered there's a whole world out there between five and seven thirty at night <laughs> that I was never usually a part of. You know, we were here. What do you mean it's not question period? <laughs> what, what do you mean? Yeah, and and so what what happened? What would I do when I get home when it's yeah. not dark? You know, so yeah. a lot of late nights, and I I did miss time with the kids, but I you know I think they understood what what I did, and I we I always kept them sort of in that journey and you know and understood that what I thought I had was a not me personally but I thought that the reason I was gone was to tell uh, and to show Canadians these important events happening in their lives so I miss some stuff but um, you know I, uh, I you know, the family's the family's tight the family's good uh, the kids were there the other night there's uh, no doubt that your kids and your wife loves you that was really evident on Wednesday and that was wonderful to see so yeah. uh, you know um, we're quickly losing time. Yeah, but, you know, understood. Uh, a message for the people that have watched you these many years because you, you mean something to Canadians and I'm sure a lot of people will shed a tear that you're not going to be here day after day. Yeah, and, and probably some of them will be applauding that I'm not here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my only, my only message is uh, when you tune into CPAC, if you tune into CPAC, uh, odds are you know why you're doing it mm -hmm. and, and keep doing it and spread the word uh, because it is... I think, and I've, I've worked at the other two mainstream uh, networks in the country too, or the bigger yeah. ones, and you know, um, there is something special about what we do here in terms of you know, um, letting Canadians see it for themselves, giving them a front row seat, and, and not trying to tell them what to think, but giving them uh, all of the information they need to come to their own conclusions. So that's what I would say. Uh, hope you think we're valuable, hope you keep watching. and. Uh, Make sure you do and keep tuning into this guy. He'll be, it'll be so much better than what you had with me. <laughs> no, no. Although I will say, because of the great work you've done and your dedication, uh, it, when, when CPAC came to me, it was a very obvious choice. I, I, in great awe and respect of your work. So uh, thank you. Well, the fe feeling's mutual. And thanks so much for coming to join the team and take us to great heights. Yeah, well, I'll be calling you from time to time. Uh, Peter Van <laughs> thank you. Congratulations on thank the you. retirement. Thank you.